नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत आफल दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड अ यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट्स एंड एबिलिटीज साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम भारत आर फर्स्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क योर क्वेश्चन वाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी Now I would like to introduce our science expert Dr T V Venkateshwaran sir who is here with us to answer the question Dr T V Venkateshwaran sir is a senior most scientist at Vigyan Prashar New Delhi he is also the founder of India Science Wire so let's begin the session with today's question see uh once upon a time there was uh, dinosaurs and today there is no dinosaurs right once upon a time there was uh, the ancient species from which the humans evolved those ancient species are not there today in the world so extinction of species is something that uh, is natural but at times what happens is that large number of species is go extinct in a short period of time i mean short from a geological point of view like uh, for example if you look at a uh, time uh, t1 and uh, time t2 and a particular uh, ecosystem uh, let's say for example uh, you had uh, 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 species like uh, uh, like this which are uh, missing in t2 right uh, this species is uh, missing in uh, t2 so they have become extinct within this two period right so when this numbers change substantially large number of uh, species go extinct together at same time that's what we call as mass extinction so there are uh, two things there is a background extinction which means that regularly a certain number of uh, species go extinct because there is a change in the uh, uh, environment and uh, mass extinction because there is a sudden change in the environment a large number of species go extinct in a short period of time okay so these are the mean like say for example if you look at uh, the dinosaurs about which we are talking about uh, you find that uh, the uh, dinosaurs were uh, uh, this is a period okay so uh, from uh, past to current right so you had uh, dinosaurs in uh, various parts of the uh, world and slowly number of them uh, uh, became extinct and then at a particular time what is called as uh, cretaceous uh, period the uh, dinosaurs completely became extinct which is usually linked to a asteroid falling on earth and causing a, a global level uh, uh, calamity right so these are the places where you find uh, uh, various types of uh, uh, dinosaurs which became completely extinct after this point of time so that's point to a particular kind of mass extinction so not only dinosaurs at that point of time large number of uh, uh, species became extinct in fact uh, until that point of time in vegetation most of the uh, plants and trees were non flowering type okay the flowering plants became uh, dominant on earth uh, around this period right so there are various uh, reasons that uh, the uh, uh, mass extinction can take place it can be a meteorite or a asteroid impact that can be volcanism large amount of uh, volcanoes uh, Uh, or air temperature changing ocean acidification or water oxygen level change sea level rise uh, atmospheric circulation climate you know all of this can uh, contribute to uh, mass extinction right so until now we have identified from uh, uh, looking at the geological record five mass extinction okay the first one took place about uh, 445 million years ago uh, around that time roughly about 60 to 70% of the species that existed at that point of time became extinct at one go so look at if there were about 100 species i'm not talking about 100 number of life okay i'm talking about species for example elephant is a species peacock is a species mosquito is a species right so like that if there were about 100 species uh, in 
around 445 billion years ago of them 60 to 70 percent is not seen immediately after that uh, mass extinction event that's a huge death right so uh, that's uh, uh, one mass extinction the second one took place around something like uh, 375 to 360 uh, million years ago and uh, what happened about uh, 252 million year, years ago about 95 percent were uh, wiped out so people say that uh, that's a great mass extinction because literally life could have been wiped out. We know, we know only very few life forms survive. And then from that, whatever that we see today has emerged. And then uh, you had the fourth mass extinction around uh, 200 million years ago. And then the uh, last one was about uh, 66 million years ago, which was caused by asteroid. That's what uh, made the uh, dinosaurs go extinct. That time around 75% of uh, the species uh, vanished. And today, people are saying that uh, sixth mass extinction is taking place and that's happening because of humans. We, we make uh, climate change. We uh, erase uh, ecological spaces where species can live. And because of that, uh, scientists are warning that uh, we are, without knowing, creating the sixth mass extinction. Okay, so if you look at the uh, uh, biological species, I mean, uh, we know that uh, uh, cheetahs uh, were uh, extinct around uh, one lakh years ago. Giraffes uh, uh, are uh, becoming extinct. Lions are getting extinct. Orangutans are getting extinct around us. Okay, so there is a biological uh, annihilation because we are encroaching upon forest spaces, right? So if you look at the uh, rate of uh, uh, different species which are getting extinct in the contemporary time, there is a background rate. Okay, as I said, uh, uh, naturally, because of the uh, natural changes, uh, there will be extinction. But then what's happening is that uh, from around uh, uh, 1500s to uh, uh, the industrial period, the uh, extinction of various species is becoming substantially high compared to the background. So if you look at the mammals and birds, there is a sharp decline. Vertebrates, there is a sharp decline. Other vertebrates, there is a sharp decline. So in fact, uh, all massive mammals have been completely eradicated uh, after the human being came into uh, the sea. So uh, scientists are warning that uh, this period when the uh, human population exploded is uh, along with that, I mean, we also see extinction of various uh, species, which popularly scientists call a sixth mass extinction, of course, which is a warning for us to take care. 